Welcome to another episode of Modern Bok. Thank you for joining me today. So I thought I'd do a short video on um, the ref for this weekend. I know a lot of people are questioning it, bringing something. So I thought I'd put the facts out there, the opinions, the, the coach's sides and everything. And let's get into it. But yeah, uh, put a comment down below. Please subscribe, please share. And let's get this conversation going before this weekend's game. So obviously guys, oh, it's so close now. I can almost taste the World Cup. Uh, I have a hard time sleeping. I dream about the games. And it's just starting to get um, uncomfortable. I think my wife is starting to uh, get annoyed by it. My friends don't want to talk to me anymore. But I, I cannot wait anymore for this World Cup to start. I have made sure of every contingency to catch every game. And I'll try and bring all of the, the coverage to you as fast as possible. So thank you for joining me for another episode. And today I thought I'd cover the, the ref, Jerome Garcia himself. I'm going to leave uh, Point out of us. I know he's in the game also, Point here, But... Um, He's on the side, let's hope he stays there. Uh, I don't want him to get onto any headlines. And before I start, I don't. this is not a video about any kind of excuses. This is not a video to try and blame anything before the games happened. I am avidly, 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 as any rugby fan I'm sure, from both sides of the pond, want this to be a game where it's not about the ref on Monday or Sunday. It's about the game. Nobody wants the headline to be New Zealand and or Australia, South Africa lose because of X, and because of a card, a bad call, a, a disallowed trial that shouldn't have been. That is just not what we want from this. This is a test between some of the best teams in the world, if not the best, and we want it to be a test of that. Player against player, 15 man against 15 man, every man there. So I just want that to be the case. And this is what I'm making this video about. I want to just highlight it. Maybe it helps with awareness, but understand that I am not trying to make excuses. I'm trying to say that this is the situation currently, and we should just be aware of it going into this game. So, um, neither side here, in my opinion, I know that Russi's come out quite vocal, even some Springbok assistant coaches, coming out quite vocal about the fact that the All Blacks do get the 50-50 calls. And I think to some extent he might be right. But I don't think it was right for him to bring it up. I don't think it makes any difference. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Shit happens. But the but the fact of the matter is that they do they do sometimes get that. And that's just because of the dominance of the team. And it's something I think they've earned and deserve. So it's not it's not that they... I don't think New Zealand has anything to do with bringing it to them. They deserve the 50-50 calls they're getting at the moment. Because they are the dominant team in the world. All Blacks, the refs almost expect them to do the right thing whether that's the right thing or not is in my opinion world rugby's fault because the rule there's too many 50 50 calls in the in the sport and those opportunities leave situations like this where we have to worry about the ref picking the team that he thinks is right so obviously in it when you have a team that's so dominant i mean a decade in number one nobody can ex nobody is taking away the fact that the all blacks are the best team in the world still to this day so refs will go that way but saying that Jerome Garcia is the guy talking about 50-50 who is the 50% of all red cards for all black players have been handed out by him they only have four and two of them are by him but 50% of them are by him so that is quite interesting but South Africa has had only one red card against them of their couple it is quite crazy that the all blacks have only ever had four red cards in their uh, in their test test history that's quite amazing in my opinion um, 10 given again in games against them but yeah, so that was quite interesting, but that obviously is going back to that people maybe arguing the 50-50 call. The overall record for the Springboks against, with John, uh, Garcia at the helm, is, is, it started out pretty good. We've been at 13 games, and of the first four games, three of them we actually did win under him, and then it looked good, 75% win. But then after that, I don't know if we maybe, I don't know, did somebody say something mean to him? Did he get a, some biltong that wasn't tasty at home? Uh, when, he went, when he was in South Africa sometime. I don't know why. But after that, the stats nosedive. In the last five... It, it, well, the last time we've won with him under is in 2018. And that's it. Those are the four times. Those three times in the beginning, years ago, and this last time in 2018. Other than that, other 13 other games, we have not won under him. And we have never, ever beaten the All Blacks at, with him as the ref. That is probably the stat that is most concerning for me. Um... We have never done it. We have actually, the lo a lot of the time, those are some close games. 
heavy close games that you've got to wonder how much play, uh, how much did he actually have infecting that game. Some people argue, especially the 2015 World Cup, that there there were some question marks sending us out in the semi-finals with an exceptionally close 2018 uh, loss there. Obviously also two years later we lost by 25-24 and with him at the helm and that was when we got a red card with the Islander being sent off. Something that obviously affected the game's outcome hugely and South Africa, uh, many South African fans feel was our game to lose considering the fact that we we were so close and a red card obviously made it that we could not get that uh, hold in. He's also famously the ref that held the, uh, that held the game where we lost 57-15. Uh, not the worst we've done, but still not a fun score to have. So, there's... I don't think that if South Africa... The team that is the better team should get the calls going their way. That's just how unfortunately it works. The team dominating on the day does get the calls. The problem is those first 20 minutes when domination hasn't been shown yet. Can the team that goes into the game favorites usually gets it. I feel that this game is close enough that no ref is going to give pick favorites yet, but it is concerning me. And those are the minutes where both teams are going to try and show the ref who's dominant as it will affect uh, um, the points coming close. I predict this game is going to come down to the wire. Fact of the matter is there's a, the conditions are not going to be great. They're not going to be conducive to open play. They're going to be physical, tight, and close together. That normally leads to some dodgy tackles as players slip. It normally leads to a lot of knock-ons, slipping scrums, and those scrums especially are heavy 50-50 calls. Even ball stealing is affected by the rain as players often slip trying to stay in there on their feet while seeing the ball, and those calls could concern play, uh, fans and players alike. But yes, guys, this is kind of just my opinion of the game, how it's gonna go. Uh, please, let's not focus on the ref. But I will highlight if I feel there were changes or that was a little different in the game going forward for both sides. I am not biased. I know my channel is called Mar Modern Bach and all that. But I'm not biased yet. If I feel the All Blacks got benefits, I will state that. If I feel the Springboks got benefits, I'll state that. But understand that this is not what I want to do on Monday. I am not gonna, I'm not going to enjoy making that video either way. So yeah, guys. Please comment down below, please share, please like, and please give me any opinions or any other videos or coverage you'd like. I would love to do this and really want to give you guys all of the best content going into this World Cup. Thank you. Cheers.